Right, so picture this. I'm in Southeast Asia, sun blazing, humidity at about 1,000%. I'm parched, obviously, and then I see it. A stall piled high with what looked like oversized hairy limes. These, my friends, were no limes. These were green coconuts, and they were about to change my life. Now, I'm not usually one for exotic fruits. Give me a nice, predictable apple any day, but there was something about these coconuts, something alluring in their unyielding greenness. So I took the plunge. One machete-wielding stall owner and a few wax later, I was staring into the abyss of the coconut. The taste, let's just say, it was like nothing I'd ever experienced. Slightly sweet, incredibly refreshing, and with a subtle hint of coconut. It was at that moment, uh, uh, coconut water dripping down my chin, that I knew I had to delve deeper into this world of green, glorious hydration. From that day forward, I was on a quest, a quest to understand the nuances of these magnificent fruits. Little did I know, this was just the tip of the coconut iceberg. Turns out one green coconut does not fit all. Southeast Asia is a veritable buffet of coconut varieties, each with its own distinct personality. There's the classic Thai coconut, round and plump, like a little green beach ball. Then you've got the more elongated Vietnamese variety, slender and elegant, like a coconut supermodel. And let's not forget the Malaysian coconuts, known for their incredibly sweet water, like nature's own energy drink, without the questionable chemicals. And the color, forget your standard green. We're talking shades from emerald to jade with the occasional splash of yellow for good measure. It's enough to make a colorblind person weep with joy. Navigating this coconut cornucopia can be daunting, sure, but fear not, intrepid traveler, for I am here to guide you through this orchard of earthly delights. Now, you might be thinking, Richard, you've gone on about the water, but what about the inside? And to that I say, my friend, you're clearly a person of discerning taste. The coconut flesh, or meat, as it's rather alarmingly called, is a culinary chameleon, as versatile as a Swiss army knife, but tastier. Take the young, tender flesh of the Thai coconut. It's practically dessert, perfect for scooping straight from the shell or whipping into a refreshing sorbet. Then there's the mature, firmer flesh of the Vietnamese variety, ideal for grating into curries, stir-fries, or even coating prawns for a bit of coconutty crunch. And let's not forget the humble coconut milk extracted from the grated flesh, the backbone of countless Southeast Asian curries and soups. Honestly, the culinary possibilities are as endless as a Taylor Swift acceptance speech. Section four, coconut culture from husk to handicraft. But here's the thing about coconuts, they're not just about sustenance. Oh no, these verdant orbs are woven into the very fabric of Southeast Asian culture. We're talking religious offerings, traditional medicine, you name it. There's a coconut involved. In, in some parts of Thailand, for instance, green coconuts are considered symbols of good luck. They're often used in ceremonies and festivals because who doesn't love a bit of coconut-themed festivity? And let's not forget the iconic coconut shell, transformed into everything from bowls and utensils to musical instruments and intricate carvings. It's like they say, one man's trash is another man's coconut-based treasure. The resourcefulness is frankly inspiring. Section 5, Cracking the Coconut Code, a how-to guide. Now you're probably wondering how on earth one goes about opening one of these botanical bank vaults. Well, fret not, my parched pal, for I am here to impart my hard-won coconut opening wisdom. The key, as with most things in life, is a good tool. Forget your standard kitchen knives. We're talking machetes, cleavers, maybe even a well-aimed bowling ball if you're feeling adventurous. Just kidding, sort of. Most street vendors are masters of the coconut massacre, wielding their blades with surgical precision. But if you're feeling brave and slightly unhinged, you can always try your luck at home. Just be sure to wear protective gear. Eye protection shin guards the whole shebang. Trust me, it's better to be safe than sorry and slightly embarrassed in the emergency room. Section six, ode to the green giant, a Southeast Asian staple. So there you have it, a glimpse into the wonderful world of green coconuts. From the bustling streets of Bangkok to the tranquil beaches of Bali, these emerald orbs reign supreme. They quench your thirst, tantalize your taste buds, and even offer a bit of cultural enlightenment along the way. So, next time you find yourself in Southeast Asia, do yourself a favor and grab a green coconut. You might just discover your new favorite fruit, or at the very least, you'll have a good story to tell. And if all else fails, 
you can always use the empty shell as a makeshift hat. Just saying.